Burgundy. <laughs> I am Patrick from uh, That's my name, I'm kidding. My real name is Johan Sebastian. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much well, for giving me, uh, giving me a couple minutes here, Don. Yeah, no worries. You know, I'm Ron. Yeah. Ron, nice to meet you. Is it okay if I call you Mr. Burgundy? Uh, no. Well, Ron's fine? Yeah. Okay. okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, I heard, I was talking to uh, to Rick, and he said he knows you. Rick? And he said, yeah. You know Rick? No. I know Rick. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Did he tell you about how we went to the Mini Spears concert? I was just going to talk about that, actually. Really? Yeah. Was your hair looking awesome? Did you have like a, what's her wig looking like? Well, it's kind of big, you know? Like, <laughs> I went up to her after the concert, I wanted to buy it from her. She just was going for it. You know? <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's alright though. I mean, have a seat, have a seat. Yeah, yeah. So did you go with your family? Yeah, I brought bring the kids. The, uh, bring the wife along. But you know what? I mean, none of them are as big a fan as I am. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah like your whole, her whole entire collection, you know, all that. Yeah, basically, basically, you know. Uh -huh. So I was all, you know, I saw her on MTV one day, and I basically fell in love, you know, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's the story of our lives, right? <laughs> It definitely is. So you have you have two kids, right? He was telling me, Rick. So he brought them along. And they're they're big fans too, right? Very mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I couldn't help but notice there was the uh, this art artifact outside your your office. It looked like a Van Gogh or something. Oh. So you're an art collector. <laughs> Van Gogh. Yeah, yeah, actually, it's a little fake. It's, uh, no way. Yeah, it's not a real one. It's uh, not real. No, you could have fooled me. Yeah, that's what most people say. I'm I'm actually waiting for someone to walk in the door. Kind of buy it, you know. <laughs> yeah. you, know you should tell them it's like it's only three thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. It's all yours. That's what I'm planning on doing. You know? We'll see how it works out, though. But for now, uh, my business is fish, so I'm gonna continue to sell those, and you know, sure. I'll keep I'll keep the art and the painting and all that stuff for someone. Else. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, if you don't mind, let's talk a little bit more about why I came. Um, okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and ask a couple questions and mm -hmm. see how RSI can help your business out. Good. But can you uh, hold on a second? Sure. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, how are you doing? You doing okay? Your dog, the Palomino? What? Hold on a second, this is Jane, my neighbor. You ran across and almost got hit by a bus? Did you get hit? No? Okay, that's good. That's, that's good. Man. I'm really glad about that. But, uh, Jane, do you mind if I call you back? Yeah, this is really bad for me. Alright, great, thank you. Anyways, as you were saying, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'd just love to ask you a couple questions and see how we can help you out today. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Sure. So, first of all, um, what type of roof do you currently have? I don't know. I mean, the building is really old, you know, so okay. I'm not exactly sure, but I did bring out the records because I know I gave you a call. And oh, great. The roof in. great. So, let me go ahead and check with that. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, so right here. It looks like we have a black asphalt Mega Man 2000 roof. <coughs> Oh, yeah, the Mega Man's. Yeah, you know they actually stopped making those after '77. Really? Yeah, yeah. But, you know it's it's been good. You know I don't see any leaks or anything. But at the sure. same time, okay, so know, it does the job. Yeah, but I don't know. It's just it doesn't look too good from the skies, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and how long ago was that? Did you install that roof? It was so about 1957. So 1957. Been, yeah, it's wow. been a long time. It's been a long time. Okay. And are you familiar with uh, Title 24? Title 24. I yeah. can't say I've heard of it. Okay, well, a lot of people have it. It's a new law. It was passed in um, 2005. Mm -hmm. And it basically mandates that all new roofs have to be built up to energy stars. Okay. Now, do you know what energy star is? I have no idea. Okay, well, it's like, you know those little labels on your fridge that say energy star? Mm -hmm. It basically certifies that um, whatever's installed is energy efficient. And okay. It includes roofs. Okay, so energy efficient roofing, so it's going to be a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, um, yeah, that all sounds great. That sure. all sounds really good. Now, what is your, your average, if you don't mind me asking, your average energy bill as far as heating and cooling for a typical year, since you got the record job? Well, it's funny that you ask, because budgeting just came into it. And, okay. um, yeah, looking at the past few months, so it was about 23000 a year. 23000 is spent on wow. energy. Oh, that's a ton. Mm -hmm. And maintenance as well, that's on the two of the roof. This is a big reason why I called you guys. <coughs> yeah, it's definitely a big reason. It looks like yeah. we spend around 1500 a year. Sure. Now, do you know that black asphalt roofs actually can add to thousands of dollars in hidden costs really? in roofing because it actually increases the temperature of your whole building because it's black because it attracts the sun? I have no idea. Yeah. That's really good stuff. 
Now, thousands of dollars a year, how could this affect your future profitability? Well, um, I can buy a lot more fish, that's for sure. A lot more fish. You are the fish business, after all. That is true. That is true. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, so if there was a way that I can show you where you save an average of 10% off your annual energy costs, um, including maintenance, which you even talked about, which we'll talk about later. Mm -hmm. Do you want to hear about it? I would love to hear about it. That actually sounds uh, like a great thing. But before I do, i got to pick up the phone. Oh, you know? oh okay. All Busy right. day, huh? Yes, yeah, you know, it's crazy over here. Um, hey, Lloyd, tell me. So the, the price of the tiger fish dropped. Two cents. Okay, two cents. Hold on, this, this is my takeaway. I need to get 60 Panama Reds, make that 65, 70 of the new tigers. I need to get a few of those uh, blue fish, and I think I should cover it. And uh, by the way, like, uh, one more thing, those crabs, I mean, what are you feeding those crabs? Are you using the new formula or the old formula? The old? Well, those things are skinny, man. I mean, come on, we need to push the crabs, Lloyd. We need to push the crabs this month. I'm looking at the budget, you know, and it's just not doing too well, all right? The crabs. All right, thank you. And uh, by the way, hold on my calls. All right, thank you. Um, is this a good time? Is this a good time to see you right now? Yeah, I think I got a lot. Yeah. Well, you know, I do have a wife and all of it. I'm kind of surfing. I was trying to make a MySpace page for my fish. <laughs> okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
by saving on your energy costs that you're using. Mm -hmm. Saving the power, the power plants, they don't have to use as much electricity. Mm -hmm. And also, what you might not know is it ups the resale value of the building mm -hmm. because they will take this into account. Because a lot of buyers, if say you, I know your company is growing really fast, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. And was there a potential that you might move into a bigger building later on? Yeah, I would definitely say so. Yeah, yeah. as we get bigger and bigger fish, we'll get bigger and bigger buildings. So yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Now, when you move into that bigger building, when your business continues to grow, you can actually get more on the resale. Mm -hmm. And why don't I do? Why don't I demonstrate? I mean, I've talked a lot, obviously. But you're probably wondering, though, what does this stuff look like? What's it about? Yeah, okay. So, so here it is. Here it is. Here's a, a sample I have for you, right here. Oh, right here. Like <laughs> and all you have to do, literally, you want to feel that real quick? You know how soft that is? Wow. Pretty incredible, huh? A little small, though, to <laughs> Joker housing or Joker on. So all you have to do, literally, Mm -hmm. I mean, this will obviously come in, uh, in huge rolls. And okay. You'll roll that right off. But it's like kind of like a bumper sticker. Right. You know, where you just peel off the back and stick it on. You peel off the back, stick it on the roof, and then boom, you're done. That's your, inst I just installed the roof. you got to be kidding. No, honestly. I mean, it sounds like a joke, doesn't it? I'm saying, my roof, I just stick this on top of my existing black asphalt roof, and now I have a new roof. Exactly. Wow. I mean, it isn't quite that easy. I mean, they, are, they do come in rolls, and there's, there's name and sequel. Okay. Well, but all you have to do is literally peel off the back, stick your right on. So this, um, it's actually lowered the average installation time from a week, traditionally, or over to, to four days. Four days. Now, you're telling me I'm going to take a bunch of those little squares and put them on my roof, and it's going to take four days to do it? Yeah. Well, giant rolls that are the same material that will spread Oh, exactly. Giant rolls. Mm -hmm. And how do I know this is true? It's a good question. Um, one of our clients is the San Diego Zoo. Mm -hmm. And have, have you checked out their fish collection, by the way? Yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. It's extensive. I mean, I was a kid, actually, and uh, they're the ones that made me want to go into the whole fish business. Really? You know, they keep them alive, and I kind of sell them for food. And, you know, it's a little different, but <laughs> sure. fish, you know. Yeah. If you're asking how do you know that's true, that our installation time is so low? Mm -hmm. Well, um, one of our clients is the San Diego Zoo, and we installed their roof, and they wrote a little bit about us on, uh, you know, I not put words in their mouth, here's a testimonial. Oh, wow. And they really, one of their, the happiest they were was about our, uh, our installation time at the Yeah, this is right here, three or four days, incredible service, everything looks great. Sure, okay. So is there everything pretty pretty clear so far? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, everything sounds really good. So okay. um, tell me a little bit more about these savings that we have. Yeah, oh, exactly. Um, well, I'm going to do a quick value analysis, nothing crazy, just a couple numbers, okay. on how much it'll save you. So you said your annual mm -hmm. air conditioning cost was, what, $23,000? Yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, that's everything. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so let's, you know, that, that 5 to 20% savings I quoted from the U.S. Green Builders, Let's just go with a modest number to uh, to go with, say, 10%. Okay, 10%. So you're saving 10% off that. So that's um, $2,300. And you said your um, your maintenance costs were $1,500 a year? Yeah, $1,500. Okay, so another $150. So we're taking 10% off that, too? Yeah, oh, exactly. That's great, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that'll be $2,450 that you're saving mm -hmm. per year. Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's a lot of money. Now, if you take that per day, you're literally saving $6 a day. Six dollars a day. Yeah. That's like four and a half fish right there. <laughs> yeah, it is. Exactly. Now, these total savings, and I'm sure you you might be wondering. Yeah, I mean, you are talking about savings, you know, but I'm really, really interested on um, what's this thing going to cost me? I mean, you're talking Great six question. dollars a Great day, question. four and a half fish. Now, what's yeah. the price? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it's fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Um, Miss Miss Braun. Unlimited power. Sure. Just uncheck. <laughs> Thank you. 
you, you left kind of, kind of abruptly. <laughs> so I want to talk to Ron, right? Over at finance. Oh, another another one of your employees named Ron. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. And I told him about your fifteen thousand dollar loot. And you know what he said? He said, he said RSI roofing. RSI, real stupid investment. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. I mean, I, I can understand your concerns. There's Look at my budget, right? I have, I sell fish, right? Some fish are a dollar. Some fish. Give fish. To sell fifteen thousand dollars worth of fish, you know? It's not gonna work. <laughs> you know, that's a great point, and I, and I, I understand your concern. I mean, it's not going to be cheap to put in a whole new group visit. No, it sure, sure isn't. Now, let's look at the cost versus the true value of the roof. Now, $15,000. Um, how long ago did you install your old roof? How long did you have that for again? It's been over 50 years. 50 years. Mm -hmm. So, again, let's go low. Let's just say you have this new roof for 30 years. And, by the way, 40 to 60 years is the average um, life spent. Okay, that's pretty good. So, 30 years, $15,000, let's divide that per year. It's it's $500 per year, you'll be paying over the lifetime. Mm -hmm. So basically... So that's like 500 fish, though. That's yeah, still, yeah, 500 of those, um, what is purple snappers? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And per day, literally, the cost over the lifetime of the roof is a dollar thirty. So that's like one fish. So you're basically telling me if I give up one fish a day, I'm going to get a new roof. Exactly. And what's more is that you know what the savings is per day? What? It actually comes out to six dollars a day you're saving versus dollar thirty you're paying. So you're telling me you're gonna give me a new roof and I'm gonna gain five fish a day? Exactly. You got it. Sounds like a good deal to me. Great. You know? But honestly, this is a huge decision. I mean, I don't I don't know. I mean, you know, I got I just spent a lot of money on that Britney Spears concert, and I'm saving up to buy a wig, and you know, she can wait on. I mean, I just, you know, it's a big decision. You know, it's a long-term big decision. You know, and right. I just don't think I'm ready to commit. You know? Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fact that it's a huge decision mm -hmm. is the exact reason why we encourage you to buy it today. Hmm. Because. This savings is literally going to start today. Mm -hmm. And in 2015, there's predictions by the U.S. Green Building Council, and there's a lot about the building industry, mm -hmm. that there will be mandates for all roofs to be converted into Energy Star roofs. Okay. So wouldn't you rather start savings today, have by then, let's see, seven years, that's about $15,000. The roof will already have paid for itself. Mm -hmm. Rather than you having to scramble um, and keep your budget together in you know, 2014, Mm -hmm. and, you know, spend all that money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, you know, especially with, like, inflation and things like that. We're saying 2015, you know, 15,000 years today, sure. you know, 40,000 years tomorrow, you know? So, sure. I mean, all those things make sense, I guess. Yeah. So, you want to go ahead and get started? You start sure. right here, and we can actually install it this Friday or next Friday. We'll be back for you. Actually, um, I really don't think I'm going to do it. I'm just not very interested, you know, in your roof. <laughs> okay. Well, I can understand that. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, is there anything else that's holding you back? Anything at all? <laughs> I mean, I just... Uh, I didn't want to tell you. <laughs> you know, but it seems like I'm going to have to. You know, um, it was like March... No, it was May. It was May, maybe uh, 1986. And I was on top of my dad's roof. Yeah. <laughs> and I fell off. And I broke my head. You know? How's that funny? It's, it's horrible. Just, it's funny to me now because I, 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 I'm a grown man. And I'm telling you about how I was a kid breaking my leg. Yeah. You know? And now I just basically don't want to be up on that roof putting those little stamps. <laughs> you know, because I'll fall and I'll be a grown man with a broken leg again. You know? <laughs> I mean, that just doesn't make sense to me. I just can't do it because I'm afraid of heights. And I don't want to be up on the roof installing this, you know, membrane brain roof that you got. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, Ron, that's the exact reason why you should. Because you want to face your fears. You can conquer, right? Uh, I'm just, I'm totally yeah. kidding. Okay. That's <laughs> good. That's good. That's actually good. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Actually, we have we have an installation team that'll come out, install the whole thing That's for great. you. You mm -hmm. don't even have to, you know, be on the thirteenth floor, anything mm -hmm. like that. Nothing. Yeah. So you can say exactly where you're sitting right now. We'll have our professional installation team take care of it. Mm -hmm. So, is there anything else? Send me back. Uh, no. Great. So, if you want to go ahead and sign here, you can get me started. Uh, you started Friday. Or next Friday. <laughs> awesome. Very wise decision. <coughs> For this investment, start saving you money today. You have a 20 year guarantee. If you need anything, please call me and uh, let's let's catch a. Um, I hear Christina Aguilera is coming to the Cox Arena. If you want to catch a show anytime, I'll be here. Here's my card. That's it. Thank you.